Hello and welcome. Um, we are here with Yulia Gornman. Uh, she is going to be the Alexandria Symphony Orchestra's soloist on September 22nd, 8 o'clock p.m. at the Schlesinger Concert Hall in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, thank you for um, taking the time to talk with us, Yulia. We just have a happy, few... happy to hear. Great. We just have a few questions. Um, this is your sixth time performing with the Alexandria Symphony. And um, I was just wondering, you know, what do you enjoy most about um, being here? What keeps you coming back to the symphony? Um, that sort of thing. Well, A, I love it. I love playing the piano. I love my music. I love the repertoire I play. And probably the most important thing is that I love playing with this group. Um, it's, it's almost like playing with a group of friends. It's, it's a, such a camaraderie. There's so much give and take. And we've worked with Kim. It's my sixth time, I guess, right? Yeah. And um, we've got to know each other and we've got to really, really respect each other. There's, there's a lot of uh, rapport between us and it's, it's great. I love rehearsing. And that's when you really put the thing together. That's really, really important. And um, as you know, this is Kim's 25th year here with the Alexandria Symphony as the music director. Wow, muzzle dog. That's good. <laughs> and you know, I'm just lucky to have I know, him. we are. And I was just wondering if you had any um, favorite memories or any kind of funny memory you could share with us just as we celebrate this 2012-2013 season and Kim's 25th year, silver anniversary. The funny memory, um, I don't know, it's funny today. It probably was less funny about a year ago when I had to play a Schumann concerto on a 15-hour notice. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a special moment, I have to say. I remember getting a phone call from uh, Adrian at midnight, and I was just about to go to bed. I was, I was, I was ready, I was done for the day, and um, I was getting quite sleepy, and that's after that phone call I got myself a biggest cup of coffee and made myself a strong pot of tea at the same time and I stayed up all night getting a Schumann concerto which I played before about 10 years ago so that was a blast I have to say. You saved our lives there. <laughs> that that was, uh, everybody looked at me as if I was some kind of a, a monster slash miracle. <laughs> But it was, it was amazing. It was truly, truly amazing. I will never forget it. Uh, there was an incredible sense of uh, um, music making and gratitude and pure joy that, that was just coming from stage. It was incredible. It was so contagious. Right. So, but I guess it's funny today. <laughs> it wasn't, I remember it was not funny then. No. It was not funny then. <laughs> it was pure stress. Yeah. I mean, I could not, you can cut it for the night. <laughs> but um, that was, that, that was a blast. <laughs> if you could do that, you could do pretty much anything <laughs> Absolutely, else. yeah. Um, so I just wanted to move on. You're going to be playing the Brahms Piano Concerto Number no. 1, um, Saturday, September 22nd with the orchestra. And uh, we were just wondering, you know, why this piece, and when, what draws you to this piece, and why did you cho choose this one? I love it. It's one of my favorites. One, one of my absolute favorites. Uh, it speaks to me. Um, also, coincidentally, it was one of my uh, one of favorite concertos of my, my late mom. And um, the September 22nd is actually going to be a one-year anniversary of her passing away. And it's really, really special. I still use the music that has her fingerings wow. and her markings. and. So it's, uh, it's kind of an homage to her. Right. Um, this music is so, well, it's special in several ways. First of all, it's one of the most symphonic concertos. It, there's not much of the, the soloist, long time nobody, and then the orchestra. The, the, they're equal partners. And um, that makes the collaboration so much more important. And I'm so looking forward to rehearsals. Um, the concerto was actually conceived as, as a symphony. It would have been his first symphony. Then he scrapped that idea, then he decided to, um, to reinterpret this piece as a, um, a sonata for two pianos. That didn't work out too well, and then he um, decided to rework it as a concerto for piano and orchestra. And it's, it's a phenomenal piece. I mean, at the beginning of it, it's almost like a, I don't know, um, uh, a spaceship taking mm -hmm. off. It's absolutely grand. It's, there's, there's nothing like it. There's absolutely nothing like it. 
Wonderful. Do you want, oh, go ahead. Um, what's interesting also, uh, as a soloist, you know, you warm up right before going on stage and then about, mm, I don't know, 20 seconds or 45 seconds you're going to be playing. No, no, no. I'm sitting on my chair getting all cold for about four minutes <laughs> as the orchestra plays the, you know, the introduction. It's, yeah. it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait for September 22nd. Would you mind um, playing just a little bit for us? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, we're looking Absolutely. so much forward to your uh, concert with us. The Alexandria Symphony Orchestra uh, presents Yulia Gorman on September 22nd, 8 o'clock p.m. at the Rachel M. Schlesinger Concert Hall and Arts Center in Alexandria. Thanks so much, Yulia. Can't wait. Yes. Thank you.